Hello everyone, welcome back to this last episode of the 64 base CTF challenge and today it's all about getting root. Let's get started. We've come a long way, we've uh, learned many new techniques, hopefully you learned something new. So for those of you who have not been following, you can find all the episodes in the description box. So by the end of the week, I'll publish them. So make sure to watch the previous episodes to learn more about the hacking techniques that we've been able to perform. And so now let's uh, follow the hint of the flag five and look inside that file called flag five. So we gathered from the previous episode that the real binary of cat is actually named cat.real and let's uh, print the content of flag5 file. Oh, I have a lot of output. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I can use just strings. St or maybe file. File, flag5, just to learn about this Oh, this is an image. Okay. Do we have exif tool? Nope. Can I like copy that flag five to var www html? Uh, I guess uh, let's name it flag five dot uh, jpeg. Permission denied. Oh, yeah, that's because we don't have the right to access that folder because it's owned by www. Well, we can maybe reuse the same command injection vulnerability we found in the in a previous episode. So let's uh, grab the same command here. And hopefully we can copy it. Just encode this in URL and send. We get nothing back, but if everything goes well, we should find the, the image under the root directory. We called it f5.jpg drum rolls and doesn't work. No worries. Um, we can always try another way. Let's uh, try with do we have strings? Just to see if there are any interesting uh, strings right here. Just scroll up. Oh, hang on. I saw something. Yep. There's a long string encoded in hex. So let's take that and uh, paste it right here. So let's call this variable A. And then a dot decode hex. So this is some base sixty four encoded data from base sixty four import base sixty four decode and then base sixty four decode B. Oh, that's a RSA private key but it uh, looks like it's protected with AS key, passphrase. But uh, let's take that and let's put it in a file. Let's call it RSA. That might be the key to access the server as root, I'm not sure. Let's use SED or SED to look for all the new lines, as you can see here. We have some new lines, so in your opinion, what should we do here? I'm going to target new lines and then replace them with the actual carriage return or line feed character and then change that globally. And let's apply it on the RSA file. Perfect. We get a pretty well formatted RSA key. So let's use dash I to actually change the RSA. 
good. So if I try with SSH, now let's uh, change first its permissions. And let's root this time. So dash B, port number. Oh uh, yeah, we need to provide the key. We still don't have the passphrase though. Yeah, we need the passphrase. Okay. And let's try all the passwords that we've uh, gathered so far. I'm not sure if they are going to work, but why not? Passphrase, nope. First one doesn't work. Second one doesn't work either. Maybe an empty passphrase. Nope. Okay. Um, I think we need to, to brute force that. Let's try with the base64 encoded version because this is how we were able to access the server using SSH as 64 base user. So let's use that as a passphrase. Nope, it doesn't work. What about the other? Echo this one. And take that. Paste it right here. Nope. Okay. Let's uh, continue with our enumeration. So we were able to find that uh, secret file that was under HTML admin secrets flag five. It says look inside. So we've looked inside, but we didn't find, we only found the key, but not the passphrase. I wonder how can we access that. So let's try to access directly that path from the web route. Hopefully we could fetch that image. And uh, yeah, we need to sign in, but we ignore the password. The old password doesn't work. That's a bummer. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use some skills to exfiltrate files directly from the terminal. So I'm going to use the same trick that um, the author is using, and that's basically just base64 encode the entire file flag. And then I'm going to copy it and uh, yeah, paste it locally. It's dumb, it's stupid, but it works. I'm going to copy that, paste it right here. Let's call it f5.jpg.base64. Paste anyway. I mean, if you have any other suggestions as to how to exfiltrate this file, um, I'm all ears, just drop me a comment below. Maybe we could also, uh, we could have uploaded that file directly into a web server, I'm not sure. But since we are in a really restricted and weird environment, the commands have been renamed, they've been replaced. Not sure even if wget or curl would work. So yeah, for those of you who have attempted this challenge, let me know how you found maybe a different way to exfiltrate that file. But for now, we're going to stick with the ugly base64 trick. Okay, let's verify if the file is indeed an image. So we call it uh, f5.jpg. Well, it's now ASCII, so we need to base64 decode it. And let's put it in a file called f5.jpg. File f5.jpg, and it's an image. Okay, so let's uh, visualize this. So the image says, use the force. Hmm, okay, I guess we need to brute force. So how can we brute force the passphrase? I think John or Hashcat could 
uh, do that. So let's Google that real quick. And that's what we're going to tackle in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that ring bell to receive the video once it goes live. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.